Hi, so I am going to show you my mitosis um, foldable. It is a really, really good foldable because students can use it as a study guide. Um, here is an example of my plate boundaries foldable. Um, it is going to be very, very similar for the mitosis. The only difference for the mitosis is I'm going to have it to where you have the front and then I'm also going to have it post it on the back so that you can use both sides of the foldable. So first I'm going to show you once you buy the foldable um, it is going to be a PDF file. Right now I have it as my uh, Microsoft Word but it's going to be converted to a PDF and you have different options on how you want to do the foldable. So this is the front page. Um, the next page you can decide which order you want to put it in. Here we have all the phases and they are labeled. Um, you can also have it to where students can fill in the labels. Here it is not labeled so you can have them fill that in. Um, then we go on to the features. Uh, you could decide if you want to put the features before the diagrams or not. Um, this will be the back side that I was talking about, quiz time. This is where students can ask themselves questions and they will have the answers printed underneath. Um, another option is that if you want to, I have a blank template and you can have students add in additional questions you, or you can change the questions um, based to based off of your classroom needs. Okay, so I already printed what I wanted. Um, the cover page, I printed the features. Um, I also printed the diagrams already with it labeled. And then the back side will be my quiz. So I'm going to go ahead, color, um, cut out on the dotted lines, and then I'm going to start gluing. But you'll see a um, video of that in just a second. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, um, I have finished coloring and cutting each piece that I am going to use. So all you need now is glue, and I'm going to go ahead and construct the foldable. So the very first page I want is talking about mitosis, um, the cell cycle, and it has the different phases. Um, so I'm going to start with this one and I can decide if I want to put the features next or um, the actual diagram. So that is up to you. Yeah, mommy finished coloring, yes. Um, as you can hear, that's my two year old. <laughs> yeah, daddy was coloring. Yeah, daddy was helping mommy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to glue the um, let's do the diagram right diagram. after. Yeah, right diagram. Here. And then I'm going to glue the features underneath that. Features. But again, like you that? could do the features and then the diagram. So let's go diagram. ahead and get some glue. Yeah. yeah, you did do that, huh, sweetie? Mm -hmm. do that more. Okay. Do now that. I'm put this right on top. Make sure I get it good right there. And then you can fold on the solid, the black solid lines. We make a side? Yes, sweetie. Yes, sweetie. They not fall too. Yeah, we daddy not fall too. too. No, we can't fall. Okay, and this is my last line. Okay. So, as you can see, I, I glued the one page underneath so I can lift each of the phases and have the features underneath. It makes a really, really good, um, well, great uh, tool to study. Now I'm going to do the diagram. Okay, and I'm going to place that right on top. I want to get it perfect. Okay. 
And I could do the same thing where I fold now the second one down just so it makes it easier. So when I'm looking through, then I can easily open these up. Okay. Now, here comes the tricky part will be the next part. Not really tricky, but you just want to make sure that you do it, um, that you have students do it correctly because if they don't, then the, the foldable is not going to work like it should. So I have my top done, as you can see. So if I want to know about a certain phase, I can um, actually fold it down and see the features, and then I fold down again, and I can actually see the picture, or the diagram. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I want to do quiz time. Um, this is just for myself to be able to study. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna go on the back right here, but I need to be able to fold this one down to see the answers on the back. So before I do quiz time, I'm actually, the answers to these ones is right here. So I'm going to put these ones right underneath. So I'm going to start doing my other, I'm going to set this one aside, and I'm going to start doing my other one. So my quiz goes on top of the answers. So these are the answers for the quiz. Okay, and I'm just going to put it right on top. And then again, I can fold all of these just to make it easier. Okay. And then my next one is another set of questions. Now these, um, the next one, the questions are about the certain phases. So this one's going to go next underneath and then the answers to that is going to be right underneath that. So I can just keep gluing these on top of one another. I'm going to skip the folding part because you pretty much know by now that you can fold it. And, and you can fold it at the very end so that um, might save some time folding at the end. Okay, so that's the last one for this side. Okay, so you can see my... Um, quiz time, my very, very cool study guide, is I can ask myself some questions, okay, and then I can look underneath and look at the answers. Here's the different phases, and then I can also ask some other questions. Um, what's nice about this foldable is I also have the, uh, like I said earlier, the blank template, so you can actually change the questions however you like. Okay, so I'm done with this. So I have my two um, foldables, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue them. Um, one is going to be turned backwards, and then I'm just going to glue them together like this so that I can flip and use both sides. So let's go ahead and glue the back of these. I put that one on correctly. It goes this way. And I just want to make sure I glue that on nicely. Alright, so there should be one where it is a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I have my really, really cool study guide. So
So again, I can have the front side right here that talks about the different phases and I can go through, see the different features, look at the diagram or the picture, and then there's nothing after that because I have to turn it over and I can use the quiz. So then I can go ahead and ask myself some questions. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, like I said, there's that blank template. So if you want to add anything in here um, that you think um, I need to add to it, then you can do that. I hope you enjoyed and I think your students would really, really use this tool a lot and find it very, very useful. All right, thank you. Bye.